Hey, Brent, Sarah, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Milford police not saying too much other than revealing the names of the businesses that were breached this morning. We talked to some of the four business owners impacted, and they said that it doesn't appear that much merch was swiped. Among the businesses broken into was Puff City, a popular smoke shop on the Post Road, where cameras caught these two conducting some after-hour shopping for just over a minute, sometime after 5 a.m., according to the owner. We're dealing with the aggravation of it now. You know, the store's been closed since 6 o'clock, so we couldn't open it up all day long until the detectives came by. He said it's believed those responsible were minors, but police can't confirm that. I have seen this issue at our other locations, but not particularly in Milford, and we never thought anything like this will happen in Milford. He may consider hardening the outside of his business more, but noted the perps didn't get away with much. The door probably cost more than the stuff that they actually took. Which unfortunately was not also the case at the KS Mart on Naugatuck Avenue. They just hit the glass, they came through the window, and they, they stole all the, uh, the expensive cigarettes. And vape merchandise too. I don't know which stuffs are gone, I need to check it right now. Several blocks away at Voila Wine and Liquors, their cash register was stolen. And with Milford police starting to flood the area, they noticed some suspicious males near another liquor store nearby trying to penetrate the front door glass with some rocks and then with a bat unsuccessfully. They approached them. The males got in a black vehicle, a black Mercedes that in the end we just determined was stolen out of Bridgeport. Um, and the vehicle fled the area. And uh, the uh, officer there tells Fox 61 that it appears that there were three or four individuals in that black Mercedes that hightailed it from Fairway Liquors there, which was the last of the four businesses that were hit. We're live here in Milford. Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.